y'all woke up this morning with your mind on Jesus. The song said, I'm singing and praying with my mind stand on Jesus. May God bless you, Sister Ruby. She wanted to sing for the Lord. And uh, I wish we had more out there that really want to sing some of an old hymn. Amen. Amen. The old hymn, you, you, it'll go with you all the way. I woke up this morning with my mind. And on Jesus. good God and we we ought to wake up uh, every morning with our mind on Jesus and Michael you to quote this is the day that the Lord has made let us rejoice not just one or two but let us meaning everyone let us rejoice and be glad in it because of the goodness of God Amen. I have a young preacher here. Amen. From our minister union. Amen. 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 And he he gonna come to us this morning. Amen. He he been around a long time. Amen. 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 He been coming around here a long time. When Building. And uh, I promised him that I was going to let him stand this morning. Uh, even though I was kind of baffled in mind. His uh, name is Reverend Haywood. Amen. A humble young man. I'm going to ask you to elevate your right hand and receive him as he come in his own way. just like a daddy to me. Been knowing him for a long time. And I think that I shocked him when I showed up this morning. Uh, I'd like to call your attention to the book of Genesis. Those that can stand for the reading of God's word, for the respect of God's word, let us stand. Those that are not are able to stand, you may remain seated. When you walk into the courtroom and the judge shows up, everybody stands. All right. You're standing in the presence of the Lord. I know you're right. We're going to look at Genesis chapter 11, right. verse 4. When I don't hear the leaves of the page of the Bible's turning, I presume that you're there. That's Genesis chapter 11, verse 4. The scripture says, and they said, go to. Let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven. And let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. Tell you, you may be seated. 
tell you a story before I give you the subject of the message. My wife and I was traveling one out of town. We was lost. We didn't know where we was going. We tried to take a back road to find our way. We stopped at a service station to fill up gas. And we didn't know where we was. I stopped and asked several people how to get back to the interstate. Some people couldn't tell us how to get back to the interstate. And we were just lost, didn't know what to do, but we prayed and asked God. And God directed us to ask one little old man, and he told us how to get back to the freeway. We called ourselves going to take a detour. And I know a lot of us know about detouring. A lot of us know about getting off the freeway and going to go another way. Uh, freeways are crowded and you don't know what way to go. And You get off the freeway and you take the back road and say, I'm going to go this way. I believe I can make it. But we come to a dead end. And finally, we have to turn around and go another way. A lot of us have went to a dead end in our life running from one place 